Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back. It's Super Detective Boy, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a SMPS of a desktop PC, uh, which is uh, right over here. It's already opened up, and you can see that the SMPS is gone because uh, I have already removed it and uh, also opened it to check. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to repair it because of it's not gonna uh, work like before again so I'm gonna replace it with a new one but before uh, doing that I just want to show you how to check the SMPS as you can see uh, there is a fan over here and uh, as I told you in a previous video of my PC that these two were well, the green and the black these two works uh, as a switch uh, to the front switch of the uh, your cabinet and it goes through the motherboard so you just need to shut these two wear and the uh, SMP will uh, start working and you can see e the fan will be running so let's just check this And the AC is connected, you can see the wear. Now we're going to short these two pins using this wear. And you can see nothing is happening here, the fan is not running. Uh, so that's how you can check your SMPS uh, to be sure whether it is faulty or not. So, now uh, this is the new one, it's from, it's from Clarion and it's also a 450 watt power supply and uh, it uh, comes with two years of warranty and uh, you can see the amperage over here. 5 volt is 30 ampere, 3.3 volt 22 ampere, and plus 12 volt is 24 ampere, which is nice to run an average PC. So uh, that's it. So let's just open it up. And now we're going to check this SMPS. Uh, the same way this is a green and the black wear you can see that and now we turn on the switch as you can see the fan is running turn it off yeah, you can see that the fan stopped now. So that's it. Now you're going to install it to this uh, cabinet. All right, and uh, now we're going to connect all the connections to the motherboard. This is for the motherboard main connection. And this is another 14 connections, 12 volt connections for the motherboard. 
has to beside the processor. And this is a power connection for uh, the hard drive and the other device we have. Now we have a hard drive. And uh, this one is called the DVD drive. So that's it. And now just uh, then we're going to connect, connect the wire. Let's turn on the switch. All right, so this is working now, and uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.